We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. It's 6 a.m. in the morning here, and we are making a recipe, raw food recipe. It is a raw food potluck today, and what I'm doing is something crazy. Now, this raw food deep dish pizza that I showed recently, I am making today, but I'm doing something special with it. I'm making a Hawaiian barbecue deep dish pizza with pineapple and coconut meat ham. This stuff is insane, guys. What we have here is a mixture of liquid aminos, probably more than half liquid aminos, and bariani olive oil just mixed with a couple splashes of liquid smoke, which is absolutely crazy. It's been, it makes everything taste barbecue. Angela are going nuts over this. The entire house smells of barbecue from the dehydrator. It's insane. And so what I did was I soaked those in here overnight, soft coconut meat, and then we're gonna put this in the dehydrator. And we, I did a test trial just to see how it would be. And we are talking ham here. Bacon, Angela thought it was more like, but uh, it's going on the pizza. It's going to be crazy good with pineapple. And also, we're going to make the tomato sauce, a barbecue tomato sauce, with the liquid smoke and things like that. So we just soak this overnight, coconut meat in this little mixture. And we're going to put this in the dehydrator for like three or four hours, and it'll be just like this. This is Yama's ham, right? It's the same thing, right? It's the same thing. What'd she say, babe? We're gonna put in the dehydrator and then put it on the pizza for the party today. The party's today, right? You know who's coming? Yeah. Marina? Ah, Ariana? Ah. It's gonna be a fun party. You're eating the peely cake that I made. Does she like it? She likes the peely cake. Maybe I could show the peely cake too. That's what we'll do in this video because you already know the pizza recipe. I'm just adding a few little extra bib bobs to it and maybe we can show the party and stuff like that. So this works, this one's done. Now we've got to spread the other one out. Yeah, we've got to go like this, so... You want Dad to use a kachara instead? For a rye? Oh, rye wants to help. Okay. Thanks, rye. This is going to be insane. It tastes just like bacon. And there's... I did it with really thin coconut meat in that first batch. This has thicker pieces, so it'll be more even closer to ham. And it doesn't even need much time in the dehydrator. The pizza crusts are already going. They're almost done. They dehydrated overnight. I got into some babies. There's grande and babies, big ones and small ones. She's such a clever clever. She's a clever clogs. Okay, we're back. This is the coconut ham. It's only been in there for like two and a half hours and it's ready to go for right on top of the pizza. It smells ridiculous. It tastes amazing. It tastes like bacon. I'm telling you this liquid smoke, you just need one drop to make something taste exactly like barbecue. Um, I make my burgers. This takes it to the next level. Barbecue sauce. I actually did a test and put it in some sort of cashew dressing that was like totally white and nothing to do with barbecue. And I put one drop in like eight ounces and it totally changed the flavor to more of a barbecue flavor. This stuff's really powerful. Um, the smell here is amazing. It just smells like barbecue from the dehydrator. This stuff, it's called liquid smoke. We have it on our website. And all it is, 
is they burn hickory and mesquite into a funnel where distilled water comes in and captures all the smoke and it turns into a, and it's a, that's the actual flavoring of it, which is that distilled water with the smoke from there. And it's extremely concentrated. These little bits are just precipitation from the flavoring of the actual liquid smoke stuff. It's insane, people are loving it. And now I'm going to show you the peely nut cake as promised that I made for Angela. Let me go get it real quick. This is the new creation that anybody can make without even a stone grinder. This is like a mousse cake, it's insane. All you do is take peely nuts, grind them down in a blender like the blend tech like I did, blend it with coconut water, half coconut water, even more than half coconut water, you could determine how much coconut water will determine how thick or dense it is or fluffy it is. I did a lot of coconut water this time and because of the fat content in the peeling nuts, it like still holds and that's why it's like a mousse. The fat content in peeling nuts is like chocolate or coconut oil because it hardens it like, and it tastes like it has a chocolate consistency when in the refrigerator. So um, this is just awesome. You, and um, I also put dark chocolate flavor extract and stevia because she wants low glycemic and mesquite is the sweetener. So it's totally low glycemic. She asked for a low glycemic treat that she could eat and that's what this is. And just so you could see, it's just like a mousse, insane. And it's just like decadent chocolate. So what you do is you take two pounds of peeling nuts and it'll probably make more than this. Two pounds of peeling nuts a half a bag of mesquite powder, which is like eight ounces, six dropperfuls of dark chocolate extract, eight dropperfuls of English stevia or toffee stevia from, that we have on our website, Sweet Claire. I didn't even put salt in. You could put a little bit of salt. And then coconut water. And the more coconut water you put in, the more fluffy it is, or you could have it more dense. For this, what we did was I put more than half coconut water, and for some reason it works. So simply what you do is you put all those in a blender. You might need to take two plain tech jugs, blend it, and then put it in a pie tin. You can put it in the freezer to speed it up, and then you put it in the refrigerator. Um, the freezer will make it hard as, you know, ice. <laughs> but when you put it in the refrigerator, this just came right out of the refrigerator. It doesn't even go in the freezer. Because of the peeling nut chocolate and the fat content, it makes it this perfect consistency. So it goes in the refrigerator. And there's the entire directions for an entire chocolate mousse pie that doesn't even have chocolate in it. It won't stimulate you and it's totally low glycemic. And mesquite is healthy. It's a superfood that helps with blood pressure and other things. So there we have it. Okay, everyone. We are starting to put the toppings on the Hawaiian barbecue pizza. Now, normally I put a thin layer of tomato sauce on, but this is barbecue pizza tomato sauce. It is so ridiculous, like unreal. So I'm putting as much as I possibly can on here. And then after that, the next layer becomes the cheese, which we got right here, like last time. And then we're gonna put the pineapple and coconut ham on top and bam, put it in the dehydrator and we're set. I also have marinated mushrooms and onions if people wanna add that on top. And I'll show you the rest in a moment. There's a lot more sauce in here. This entire thing is going on here. There's just no doubt about it. Okay, I just spent like an hour putting this sauce on. Barbecue sauce. So what it is, because everybody's gonna be asking, there's, this is just gonna take the pizza to an entire new level, like way beyond the original recipe. Also, just so everybody knows, the way to save money on the cheese is do half pine nuts, half cashews, because, um, it tastes exactly the same because of the lecithin and everything like that, and cashews are cheaper. Um, and there's little scallion pieces in it this time, which is pretty cool. So, what we did was we took, for both pizzas, this was actually, the, dement, the measurements I'm giving you is for two pizzas. I did a, one of our bag of dried tomatoes, <laughs> which was like, how, bit, how much is that? 16 ounces probably? 16 ounces of dried tomatoes, soaked them overnight, drained them, took the water out, and put it in here. And then I put like a, a half cup of dates, maybe a little bit more, I don't know. Teaspoon of salt, 
a few bloop, bloop, bloops of this stuff, which is insane. And on top of that, I added spices. And the spices are critical. I'll just try to do it one more time. A whole bag of tomatoes, 16 ounces of dried tomatoes soaked overnight, put in the food processor with, oh, and sea clear. I put three, four tablespoons of sea clear in here. Put a bunch of this liquid smoke, a teaspoon and a half of salt, and paprika, cumin, garlic powder. I'll even tell you what I did right now. Oh, I also put three tablespoons of olive oil. One tablespoon, no, two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar because the sea clear has the apple cider vinegar. I put two teaspoons of paprika, three teaspoons of cumin, three teaspoons of chili powder, and two or three teaspoons of garlic. Bam. And I didn't add any water because I want it to be really thick. So it's like this, it's like paste. And I made this really caked on there. So it's like every bite is just going to be crazy. Okay, everyone, 5,000 hours later, we've got all the base parts on and everything. We've got the tomato sauce, then tomato layer, and then the cheese layer. Everyone is going to be stuffed on my food alone at this raw food potluck. There's like an inch of cheese on here. This is just like crazy. So now what we're going to do is bring it home and make it into Hawaiian pizza. And then we put in the dehydrator again after this. We're going to put the pieces of ham all over it. This stuff is ridiculous. Like I can't even express how amazing it tastes. And what I'm going to do is put all this on with the pineapple in between. It's still a little soft. People are going to go nuts over it. This is like bacon. It smells like it. All right. So what I'm going to do is finish this off, put some pineapple on, and uh, we'll get the finished product here for you. All right, everybody. I just put the coconut ham on. This is it. Ridiculous. This coconut ham is insane. And the final portion of the barbecue Hawaiian pizza with coconut ham and pineapple is the pineapple. Just bust this on like that. And now I'm just gonna fill this entire thing up and we'll see you in a bit. Okay, so there you have it. We are going to now put this in the dehydrator, both of them. These are like two inches thick here. This is, everyone's gonna be stuffed. And then I'm gonna probably keep it in there. This thing's so heavy. For probably one to two hours and we're gonna serve it out of the dehydrator so it's warm, which is key. And uh, let's just bust these in right now. Right there. So special and precious. Look at that. Look at that. The middle trays are the ones that get heated the most. So we're gonna put it right in the middle. Bam. Let it go on for 118 for a little bit. We have marinated mushrooms, I'll show you right now. People can add with barbecue flavoring, of course. We're gonna put this in here. Oh man, it already smells ridiculous. It, already, it takes the smell to the next level when you put in the dehydrator. And that's it. Bam! And just in case we don't go to the party for some unforeseen reason, this is Matt Monarch rocking the raw food recipes, delighting the guests. And we'll see you next time at the Raw Food World TV Thanks show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.